Jim Harbaugh who? That's right. Eric Bieniemy, offensive coordinator for the Washington Commanders and a guy who has led Sam Howe, also who, to being the number two passing yard quarterback in the NFL this season for the Washington Commander. And Bieniemy has the Bears interest. The current Commander's offensive coordinator and former Kansas City Chiefs offensive coordinator who won two Super Bowls with the Chiefs could be and is someone of Chicago's interest that they want to bring in potentially as their next head coach. According to Josina Anderson of ESPN, Bears are going to keep a close evaluation for the remainder of the season on head coach Matt Eberflus, who is 500 in his last eight games and has led a very successful defense. 11th overall at the moment, to be exact. But the Bears, with this evaluation, depending on how he does in the last five games, could potentially get him canned. And if Chicago does move on from Eberflus, Biennemi is the guy. Proven success in both of his teams as offensive coordinator over the last six seasons could be the perfect guy to develop quarterback Justin Fields. And also, there's plenty of defense of coordinators out there that I'm sure Biennemi has plenty of connections with that could still keep his defense at its current status. Cough, cough, Lovey Smith. No, there's other options, but let's go back to Biennemi. Bears need an offensive-minded head coach in today's NFL, and he is the perfect guy. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Rohde, and as always, thank you for tuning in. Today, I am hitting on the newest rumors on Eric Bieniemy having Chicago Bears interest. And if he has your interest too, make sure to smash that like button on this video to show your agreeance with this. And also any thoughts that you want to put in the comments on someone else you might want to be the Bears next head coach. So let's talk a little bit more about the history of Eric Bieniemy. He has been a coach since 2001, started in the NCAA as Colorado's running back coach from 2001 to 2002, which then he was hired by UCLA as their running backs coach from 2003 to 2005. After that, he went to the NFL and worked for the Minnesota Vikings in their running backs department as their coach from 2006 to 2011. Then in 2011, he went right back to Colorado and did another two seasons with them as his first offensive coordinator gig. After that, that is where his long tenure with the Kansas City Chiefs started. From 2013 to 2017, he was their running back coach, having some fantastic years for that Kansas City offense. Then Biennemi became Kansas City's offensive coordinator in 2018 after the Chiefs' former offensive coordinator, Matt Nagy, left for a head coaching job. I want to forget who that was too, but unfortunately we all know what the answer is, so we're just going to leave it at that. But from the second the enemy took over as offensive coordinator for the Kansas City Chiefs, they were the one of the most dominant offenses in the NFL his entire time in Kansas City. They were top seven in every single positive offensive category you want from 2018 to 2022. They also won two Super Bowls during that time period. But the one you guys probably care most about from a category standpoint is passing. He was the number one overall passing offense twice in that five-year span and was never below being top five. He was number one in touchdowns twice as well, and he was always in the top 10 lowest teams with interceptions during that time period. Helped develop Patrick Mahomes into the Patrick Mahomes that we've had for the last couple of years. Give Mahomes Matt Nagy, look how much different he's playing. But anyway, he took that success from Kansas City and brought that to Washington. Washington currently is top 10 in passing touchdowns, number two in total passing yards, and uh, interceptions, not really his fault. I mean, he has, does have the 29th highest interceptions in the league, but he doesn't have Patrick Mahomes as his quarterback. And he's developed Sam Howell into being a pretty respectful quarterback all things considered. So what does the enemy bring? A dynamic offensive game plan. I mean, those rankings do not come from guys like Matt Nagy and Luke Getze. And, you know, his great balance of run versus pass, his risk that he's willing to take to go deep or run certain plays and specialty plays is what helps keep defense on their toes that you don't know what's going to happen next. And he works with his players' strengths. He doesn't try to form them into the offense he wants to run. On top of it, he is also in insanely respected by his players. You ask anyone that's been on his offenses over the last seven seasons, they love this guy. And that's what you need for a locker room as a head coach as well. Being respected by the players usually means he's respected by the coaches, and he definitely has a hell of a network over the last 20 years of coaching of top coaches that he can bring in to keep this defense at the highest level, but also 
put this offense over such an edge that they're number one in the league as well. I want him 100%. And if you do too, put your thoughts in the comment section below. Again, make sure to hit the like button on this video. I know I left the banner up for a really long time this video, and I apologize about that. But make sure you hit that like button. And as always, thank you for tuning into this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Rohde, and as always, bear down, baby.